Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to go over a new feature in Microsoft Excel. So you've got the latest version updated and it's going to make your drop down list a lot more easier to use. So I'm going to walk you through the process of how to create a drop down list quickly and also how, how you can use it in the latest version of Excel. So here I've got a list of cities, countries, and the population of each one of these cities. So I've created a lookup formula here that's going to look up a value that I select here from a dropdown and return the population value in, in column C. But to do that, I first need to create a dropdown list. And before I do that, I'm going to create a named range. So I'm going to select all of my possible values here. And to create a named range in Excel, really simple. Once you've got your range selected, you can just type in the name. So I'm just going to call it cities in this example. So now that's my named range. So if I reference cities, it's going to reference that list. So now the next thing I'm going to do is put this as a data validation rule. So I'm going to select this cell, go to the data tab, hit this button for data validation. And if you want to hit a drop down, you want to select the drop down list, select the list option here for validation criteria. And for my source, this is where using a named range comes in handy. I don't have to remember the range. I can just type in the name of it, cities, which relates to those cities that I've selected in here. And now I've got my drop-down list selected. So now I can select one of these cities. My drop-down, my, my formula works. My, my VLOOKUP is getting the, the population. So this is useful if you've got a large data set and you want to be able to quickly select data and look it up. You don't want to filter through your selection here. So now here's, here's where it's different. So if you've updated Excel and you've got the latest version, you're running the Office Insiders program and everything's up to date, then what you should see is the ability for um, your drop-down list to auto-complete. So for instance, if I type in M, you'll see now I've got a list of all the cities that start with, with M. So as I'm typing this in, you know, it can auto-complete for me before it didn't do that. You would have to actually select, make your selections. Um, you'd have to spell it out exactly, and uh, you know you wouldn't have this capability for it to just auto complete for you. So it's a, a heck of a lot easier. You know, in the past, what I would have to do is you know set up different workarounds just to get this type of functionality to work. I'd have to use um, I'd have to use different types of drop downs entirely. You know one of these um, special special controls in here that have, have drop downs and use that to, to, to mimic that capability. So it's, so it's a pretty significant, significant change for, uh, for drop downs in Microsoft Excel because you know, one of the complaints that, you know, or frustrations users have in the past when I was you know, setting up files for them that had drop downs is you know, they, they don't have that option to auto complete. And you know sometimes your data is just not going to be in in a certain range, or maybe you don't want it in ascending order, or descending order. And the ability to have auto complete makes it a whole lot easier because then you can just type in um, the starting values uh, of a list, and you can do that. And as you type in, it'll auto complete for you. So if you don't know the exact spelling of your selection, it's easier to do that. It's easier to um, yeah, it's in there. So that's a, that's a new change that you should see in your version of Excel. Um, I'm not sure if it's rolled out to all users just yet, but it will be coming. If you do want the the latest features before they roll out to the general public, then look up the Office Insiders program. You can just do a quick Google search for that, and you can sign up for that for free and for with Microsoft. And that way, when your Excel updates, provided that you've got um, Microsoft 365, then you know when there's new updates to, to push through, you'll you'll get those, and you won't have to wait um, when they're when they're uh, fully rolled out. So that that's a cool new change with drop downs, and uh, hope you found it useful. And thanks for watching. <clears throat>